friction obviously shows up in a lot of situations in our everyday life and here's an example that we've all experienced think about a car accelerating normally and think about the wheels in contact with the road so here's the road and here's the car tire when the driver steps on the gas the engine is making the tires spin so the engines exerting forces through the transmission and through the axle to make the tire turn so there's this rotation of the tire this way and the the tire grips the road down here where the tire comes in contact with the road and the tires made out of rubber does not which which typically has a lot of friction rubber doesn't slip and slide real easily that's why um, the things that sit on your countertop like if you have a um, a computer or a microwave oven or something that's sitting there it typically has little rubber feet on it and that's because those the rubber doesn't slip and slide well and when you have a car tire on the road you don't want the cars sliding around unnecessarily you want them to grip the road so they make the tires out of out of rubber out of a material that has a lot of friction naturally or that has a, has a good grip and under normal acceleration the tires turn and the, it grips the road and the tires exert this force pushing the road this way and the, the tires get pushed forward. So all the force making the car go is actually transmitted through the tire. But under normal acceleration, it's static friction. The, the tires aren't slipping. In other words, they maintain their grip or what we call the traction when the tire, the, specifically the tire against the road, they refer to it as traction, but you can think of it as how well the tire grips the road. And under normal acceleration, that is you just step on the gas gently and the car starts to move forward, the tire is not slipping against the road. Now there's obviously movement, the tire is moving and the car is moving, but there's not sliding between these two surfaces. So that's static friction. Now if the driver hits the gas really hard, we're over here now, and, and the tire spins, okay, so you could, like the car peels out, so you can imagine the tire here, and the driver hits the gas hard enough so that this tire is spinning around, and if it's a, if there's dirt or rocks on the road, they're going to be thrown out this way, or if it's a gravel road, you know, little pieces of gravel will actually come flying up behind the tire. If the tire is spinning, then there's movement between these two surfaces. The tire is sliding across the top of the road, and that's kinetic friction. Because there's movement between the two surfaces. And as we said before, the kinetic friction is usually lower than the static friction. So the car is not actually going to accelerate as fast in this case. So if you're trying to accelerate very quickly, you don't want to spin the tires. Uh, the, the fastest acceleration will come if you can accelerate hard enough to where the tires almost slip. And then you're getting the maximum amount of static friction, which is larger than the kinetic friction.